two of our dating boot camp series. Our mission turned two self-proclaimed dating disasters into dating divas in just six weeks. Last week, we met our two recruits, Cindy Johnson and Ava Conneval. If you remember, Cindy has only been on four dates in the past two years, despite being adorable. Uh, adorable. Meanwhile, Ava can get the first date. That's fine. It's the second date that is the problem. Why? Why does this happen? Well, this week, our professional matchmaker, Samantha Daniels, handed both women their first assignment, a blind date. It began like most blind dates, politely. Hi. Hi. How are you? Hi, Dave. Nice to meet you, Dave. Cindy met up with Dave Keating, a 36-year-old production coordinator who has never been married. And within the first couple of minutes, an embarrassing oversight on Cindy's part. Nice to meet you. I'm sorry, I, I don't know your name yet. Oh, I'm sorry, did I not tell you? No. Your name? Cindy. The remainder of the date went fine, but few fireworks. I live in Brooklyn. You work in the city, but you travel a lot. However, when Samantha reviewed the tape of Cindy's date with Dave, she picked out some dating don'ts on Cindy's part. Don't judge this guy so quickly. Does it bother you? No. I would think it would bother women more than men. No. Samantha also criticized Cindy's obvious anxiety. Okay. What man do you like? Oh, good question. I, I like a lot of different music. I do. Cindy, you seem so nervous on this date. You're making Dave feel nervous as well. And one of the biggest romantic roadblocks, according to Samantha, was Cindy's intense okay. interrogation of Dave. Okay, well, let's talk about band. I think the band's an interesting... I mean, so you were, you were the drum player? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Rock and roll Rock and covers roll. or originals? Cindy, it seems like you're conducting a job interview. Don't ask him so many questions. Let there be more of a give and take. But toward the end, Cindy does garner praise for at least one right move while playing pool. Oh, nice. I'm happy that Cindy just paid him a compliment. <laughs> Please welcome Cindy Johnson. Hey, Cindy. Also with us is the author of Matchbook, our professional matchmaking relationship expert, Samantha Daniels is back. Hi, Sam. Man. Hi. So here's the thing. I thought, I mean, I'm watching, I thought you did a pretty decent job. I mean, you seemed... Thank you. I could see that there was maybe a little discomfort when I talked to you in the green room and you said it was like, you, you just kind of weren't into it right off the top. Right. It's true. I, I believe last week, Samantha made a perfect... She didn't know it then, but it was a perfect assessment of me, which is I tend to go in and measure the person mm. automatically in my head against my expectations. And I did. I went in um, within the first few minutes. I, I judged him. And apparently it was evident. Because you judged him because you, you, he wasn't physically your type? It, it wasn't so much just physically. I think even conversationally, we just didn't seem, at least in my estimation, to have that immediate connection. Give Dave a chance. I Dave. know. I, I, goodness I, gracious. He You're, was a very likable, friendly person. Yeah, but do, she would turn it into an interview. It was like a job interview. Well, I think that when you job interview like that, it makes the date seem endless. Mm -hmm. You really just want to be more chit-chatty and get to know someone. I felt like when you first showed up, it wasn't just the look, it was everything. Within two yeah. seconds, this blankness came over you, and you said, I'm not giving this guy Well, speaking hand. of her face, Tanya Ryman is our body language expert. And Tanya, good to have you on the show. And you go right to her face, the window over your soul or your eyes. Yeah. Let's go with, the, watch this, and watch Cindy's eyes here and the eye contact, or lack of. Okay. I'm not afraid. It's like Loretta Williams. See, there's one I don't know. <laughs> Apparently, I don't either. Yeah, that's okay. Hey, I'm not, I'm no expert on the country or any of it. But what did you guys sing? I mean, you were rock and roll. So, like, what would you? Oh, we would do like Eagles covers, and okay. things like that. So, eye contact. Yes, what eye contact. Wrong? Well, you know, quite often we tend to get nervous and look away instead of looking at the person you're speaking to. You need to do a couple of things, Cindy, in order to make sure he realizes you're interested. You need to do what I call tens, which is tilt your head, make the eye contact, nod, and smile. Now, Samantha Daniels, our professional matchmaker, sent Ava on this blind date. Samantha set up Ava with Will Deturo, a 27-year-old environmental consultant from New Jersey. I'm Ava. I'm Will. Nice to meet you. Over the next 30 minutes, the duo got to know each other, and although at times it was awkward... So what did you study? Uh, I studied physics. Physics? Uh, <laughs> that's the response. Yeah. That's the response I always get. The two really seemed to hit it off. I thought it went great. It was easy conversation, no gaps. I had a really nice, it was a nice time. It was a nice first date. But the next day, Samantha sat down to view the tape and immediately saw problem number one. 
Oh, Ava, why are you cutting off his sentence? Let the guy finish what he's saying. So why were you in Scotland? Uh, I did a semester abroad and I just kind of stayed there. Oh, cool. For, for about five years. Oh my God, oh my God, no, I've had so many friends who have done that. When you do that, it makes the other person feel like you're not that interested in what they have to say. Samantha also noticed that Ava tended to tell elaborate stories. Then I went into musical theater, and then I went into jazz and hip hop, and then I went. That's why I was back in Saratoga. It was because I was choreographing a show, and I'm going back from a five-year reunion in college. Girls have to remember that guys have a very short attention span. So if you tell too long of a story, you're going to lose the guy. Samantha also felt Ava made one last big-time error. What is in your mouth? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's very, very true. Mm-hmm. Having gone there, and I'd rather see a big smile on her face than that wad of gum in her mouth. <laughs> Matchmaker Samantha Daniels here. Samantha, oh, what did the guys say about them? Because you had a chance to talk with the men, didn't you? I spoke to both of the men. First of all, with Dave. Initially, he couldn't say enough nice things about Cindy. He actually liked you. But then when I started getting into it with him and saying, well, what did you learn about her? He realized he knew very little about you because you didn't share. I said, do you know where she's from? No. Do you know what she does for a living? No. Ooh. Do you know any of her hobbies? No. Do you know but I told him where I was from. Before? He no. wasn't listening. <laughs> and you know what, but I'll tell you what. You know what Dave was doing? He was slurping his drink. <laughs> You didn't like that, did you, Cindy? Well, you know, he may have done that to be funny, but it was exaggerated. <laughs> I, I, you know, it literally was. You, you know, know, guys like to do minute. jokes like that to make you laugh. Yeah, you come this, on, Cindy? Cindy. Look, look. Yeah. <laughs> now, what about Ava? I what, like jokes. What did Will say about Ava after the date? Well, I think Will had a little thing for Ava. I mean, Ava is actually... <laughs> what I was think, that again? <laughs> I think Ava is a good dater because she makes the guy feel comfortable right away. I just don't want him going home and gasping for air yeah. that he's scared that he's not going to be able to live a life. Well, also, you. Ava's just problem... Just have to dial it back a bit.